Good morning. We're up here in Caravelle, Tennessee. We're heading up to a waterfall called Bruce Creek Falls. Uh, I've only been here one other time. It was during the summer. But uh, we're coming up here today uh, during the fall color. And uh, a little bit cloudy this morning. And uh, it's about a half a mile walk up this easy path to the waterfalls there's an upper and a lower waterfall so uh we're gonna make our way up here and see what's going on this morning uh, i believe i turned and went the wrong way uh, i'm gonna have to turn around about a hundred feet or so out of the parking lot the trail forks uh, you want to take the left fork and start to climb up a slight hill. Anyways, the story behind this waterfall is uh, it's man-made or created by man. When they put uh, Interstate 75 in, uh, they had to divert Bruce Creek. And you'll see when we get up here, the uh, spillway for the waterfall, you can tell it was man-made. Even though it was, it's still a pretty waterfall. So we're gonna head on up the trail here. So you come up here a little ways, and you can see behind me there some of the man-made uh, features of this creek. And uh, the creek goes in that viaduct and comes out at the other end where the trail splits but we're going to continue on up the trail here we're not too far from the waterfall so the cumberland trail comes through here you can see right back over here there's a marker and it goes up to the top of this mountain up here to a big rock formation known as the devil's racetrack and uh, you can hike up there if you want, but you don't have to to see the waterfall. Here's uh, here's some modern features. Uh, I guess when they created the interstate system, that's a pretty pretty big culvert right there going under the interstate. And the interstate's just right above us off this trail. All right, we've come up the trail a little bit, and uh, we're following the Bruce Creek. On up here and uh, I'm gonna turn the camera here you can see there's a whole bunch of cascades and stuff uh, that can be photographed and uh, the flow I'd say the flows a little bit low today uh, not sure what the waterfall is gonna look like when we get up to it just uh, passed a, another hiker stopped and chatted for a minute she was from uh, North Carolina and said she was heading for Chicago just needed a break so I was telling her about the Cumberland Trail that we have anyways we're heading on up here oh I see the waterfall now uh, I don't think I've been up this far before my last trip we're gonna go up here I'm gonna keep the camera rolling for a minute I'm gonna turn around Okay, here's the upper falls upper breeze creek falls uh, the flow is down a little bit today but as you can see all up along the side of it here where it's been cut kind of man-made where they diverted the creek when they built the interstate system and I mean the interstate is just just right there right above us right there you can actually hear the cars rolling down the interstate we're going to get set up here and take a few shots, uh, see what it looks like. 
So we got set up here, and uh, I'll show you where I'm set up for this, this shot. So this is the composition that I'm set up for. Uh, we're at uh, ISO 100 F16 at uh, two seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bracket this shot. We'll set up the bracketing. Then I'm gonna go over here to set up my two second timer and set it for three shots. And we're gonna go ahead and let it take three pictures on its own. There you go. Bruce Creek Falls, the Upper Falls. And here we have the image. I think it could have been much better with the flow being greater, so the water would have gone across the whole width. I particularly like the uh, leaves on the foreground rock and the colors above. And, uh, what I'm gonna do is walk up this hill. Okay, we're gonna go all the way up to the top of the falls and see what's up there. I've never been up there before. Well, this is kind of like a exploring hike. Okay, we come up here uh, above that drop right there and we found two more nice drops up here above that falls. You can see in the rock face the drill marks where they cut this in. Still a pretty waterfall, even though it's kind of man-made. We're gonna set up here and get a shot of this. All right, we're set up here. We got the Z62 uh, using the 24 to 70 F4. Uh, we're at ISO 100, F16 at two seconds. We're gonna go ahead and bracket this, and then we're gonna focus stack it. This was the upper cascades above Bruce Creek Falls. I love the color of the water and the leaves and the contrast of the rock wall. Thought it turned out pretty well. We're gonna walk up here a little farther now and see if there's anything up here worth shooting. Uh, may not be, that might have been the, that might have been it back there. Uh, it's awful tranquil up here. The water's just kind of meandering on down. Pretty much the creek's pretty much back to its natural state right here where they didn't really do anything when they built the interstate. Anyways, you can see behind me there. I really don't see anything in front of us except the creek. So I think I'm gonna turn around here and head back. I've seen one composition uh, right back down here that I want to try and we'll go down there and set up and okay do this one. area right here looked kind of interesting to me it's probably the last uh, fall the last cascade on this uh, triple set that's about what it is that's the uh, second one and then the third one is further down so I'm gonna get set up right here I kind of like this foliage right here There's a little bit of foliage going on up here uh, I might have to put on my wider lens, uh, probably put the 14 to 30 on there and try it with that. Okay, we're set up here on this uh, upper cascade, and I did have to put the uh, 14 to 30 on the camera to try to get the width I needed. Uh, we got a circular polarizer on it, that's it. Uh, we went ahead and same thing, focus stack this and uh, bracketed it be a total of nine shots. Now here's what we're looking at right here. It's kind of pretty up here. This trail is real narrow right here. You can see my gloves fell down there. I'm gonna have to get them out of there. But it's just barely wide enough for your feet to get around this rock ledge right here that I'm sitting on. So it's a little bit difficult up here. 
But really there's nothing beyond this point that I could see. Everything is below me. We'll take a few more shots here and then we'll pack up. So after putting on the uh, 14 to 30 lens on the Z62, I was able to capture this image of this cascade. I thought it looked really pretty here and it caught my eye on the way up. So I decided to stop on the way back and uh, do a composition right here. We'll make our way down from this upper perch. Uh, you'll see here kind of what the trail looks like. You get right down to about here and it gets kind of rocky and you got to go all the way uh, got to go all the way down there and then there's some steps made out of logs that take you on down all the way to the bottom. So we just passed a couple more hikers going up. We're heading back to the vehicle now. It's not a very long hike. Uh, it's probably about, I don't know, half a mile, three quarters of a mile up here. Okay, uh, we're finished up here at uh, Bruce Creek Falls today. I want to take a minute here and give a shout out to uh, Phil Thatch from Phil Thatch Photography down in Chattanooga. Uh, Phil's been a great help in helping me get set up on my YouTube channel stuff here. And I hope to continue this and uh, show more of nature's beauty out here on the Cumberland Plateau. You look him up on YouTube, it's uh, Phil Thatch Photography. Uh, he's got a, a nice channel there. Got a lot of videos up there. You might, might find something interesting to learn.